So every time I buy a new phone, I always like to set it up to give it an entirely new look and make it feel more unique. And that's no different with this iPhone 15 Pro Max. In this video, I'm gonna show you what's on my iPhone and how I've given it this really minimal aesthetic. So looking at the lock screen, I've got a pretty clean wallpaper. I like to just have the clock and no widgets. But as soon as we get to the home screen, this is where things start to look a bit different. Obviously, I've got this very sick setup going on and I'm gonna show you just in a sec how I've achieved this. But in terms of the apps, I only like to have those that provide a little bit more value rather than having Instagram and YouTube on the home screen. So obviously we got the camera. I'm taking tons of pictures every day. You can see that the camera on here is super, super clear and the front facing camera provides such great quality on the 15 Pro Max. Next to that, we've got photos, obviously seeing those memories and we've got Gmail and Outlook. I like to keep my email apps together and my photography apps together so everything's very organized. Gmail is my personal Outlook I use for uni and business and it's super functional that way. Safari is great. I like it as my web browser. It's very fast and it stops any trackers seeing your IP address or what you're doing and syncs well with the Mac. So if I search something on here, I can continue that search on the Mac. Now notes, obviously making to-do lists and coming up with ideas of things that I'm doing throughout the day and YouTube videos that I want to make. But I do use it to have this like things to watch section where I just like to make notes of movies and TV shows to watch because I that's basically all I do with my time. If you're seeing some movies on here, which you're thinking, how's he not seen The Godfather? I have, I just haven't ticked it off, but it's um that's basically all I use it for. Clock, obviously got to have those alarms. Mainly have to have so many alarms because I spend all my nights watching these movies. So it's hard to wake up early, but that's life. Um, and next to that, I've got Google Maps because Maps is great for traveling around, especially when you're walking. Anyone that you know that uses Apple Maps, you need to send them to a prison in a deep, dark hole because that person's got psychiatric issues. Google Maps is the way to go, not Apple Maps. Below that in the dock, I've got the necessary apps. I probably use every hour of the day. Phone, iMessage, WhatsApp and settings. WhatsApp we just use a lot here in the UK. It's very popular. So yeah, uh, the next page, I've got my batteries widget. Now, batteries is great because it lets you see the uh, the battery life of your AirPods whenever you open them. So you can see the battery life of the case and the two headphones, which is really nice. And then below that, you can see that I've arranged everything in folders. And I really like this because I tend to use multiple apps for different things like finance or for home. And <clears throat> I've set it up in a way where the top right is my most frequently used folders, while the bottom left is my less frequently used. So in the top right, we've got finance, my banking app. Got to see how much money I got in the account, spending way too much on food, Netflix, and not looking at the market, which is why we're not going to talk about Coinbase because that's not going too well. Next to that, I've obviously got home. Now, home is great because I love using this one app, Govi. These two lights behind me are Govi LED strips, and I think they're the best, most affordable LED strips that provide the same functionality as something like LifeX or Philips Hue. And what's really cool is you can see here, I've got these two strips connected so I can make them all blue. We can make them all red. We can make them all orange. We can even go into multicolor and create brand new themes. So like sunset glow, which is really, really cool or forest or rainbow or what I like to have right now, deep sea. So this is a really sick setup that I've got going on and I highly recommend Govi. Google Home, obviously for my smart speaker and to use in order to control these lights. I have that app there in case it bugs out, but that's not too important. YouTube, I like to keep YouTube buried deep on the second page because I spend way more time consuming than creating videos. Um, YouTube is great. There's like so much you can watch on here. Obviously, I've been watching this brand new podcast. The crew has it. Um, I love the show Power. If you haven't seen it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But ever since I finished that show and all the spin-offs, I've just been watching this podcast. But other than that, we've got basically nothing else other than Dave Portnoy pizza reviews and like tech videos. Um, also, YouTube Studio for my analytics. Make sure to like this video so we can bust up those subscribers. Uh, travel. Um, Waze is basically the only relevant app I'm going to talk about. It's a brilliant app for driving. Uh, it gives you like traffic signals, uh, tells you when there's speed cameras and if there's any potholes in the road or collisions. Um, TFL Go, just good for the tube in London. Social, I've stopped using Instagram. So if you want to know what my experience has been like not using that app for like five weeks, let me know in the comments. But Snapchat, I don't use much unless I'm talking to a couple friends. LinkedIn, obviously I'm a law student, so I've got to have LinkedIn for those business connections and to just show off the work experience that I've been doing over the summer. Uh, uni, uh, uni basically is just my note taking apps in here. Uh, OneNote is the one app which I would highly recommend to people. It's a brilliant app where it's like, 
taking a ring binder but having a digital version of it you can see i've got my like three notebooks for each year so if i go to my most recent year i've got everything separated into different modules and below those modules i've got lectures tutorials and personal so all my notes are categorized in the way they should be and then other than that, I've got my customization folder, which I really enjoy using. In fact, the best app that I found recently was something called One for Wall. This app is insane. It basically gives you AI generated wallpapers, which are such high quality. Like check this one out here. It's so sharp. It's so clean. I think I even saw a really cool Tesla one somewhere. Yeah, this one, this is so sick. But One for Wall is an amazing app. Highly recommend it. Probably the best wallpaper app that I found in a really, really long time. Obviously, I've got Wally, which is another wallpaper app. Has a ton of ads in it though and then obviously i've got backdrops which is the current app that i use for the wallpaper that i've got on my home screen and then just a bunch of widget apps now speaking of these widget apps before we get to the home screen setup i've obviously got amazon and cineworld pretty self-explanatory cineworld i love going to the cinema i obviously gotta keep up with the bollywood uh but yeah cinema is definitely a great recreational place to go now, speaking of those widget apps, like I said, I've got to show you guys how I've achieved this really minimal setup on my home screen. So to achieve this minimal look, the first thing you need to do is get this transparent background. Now, in order to achieve this transparent setup, you need to download a very specific app. And this is what the app looks like. It's this blue one right here. You can see that for some reason, it's not got the name underneath. So I put that up here for you to download. But before we even go into this, I'm going to change the wallpaper so it works. So let's change it to something like this one right here. Now, the first thing you want to do is go all the way into jiggle mode. And then you want to scroll all the way to the end and screenshot your phone until you can see the blank wallpaper. Once you've done that, you now want to go into the app itself. Once you're in the app, you click on settings at the bottom, set transparent background for widget and you click add. Oops, drop the phone. You click add right here and you choose the latest screenshot. Once you've done the screenshot, do it for both light and dark mode. You go to your home screen and you can see that suddenly it's applied that transparent background, which is really, really cool. So now I have these two, you can see I've got the transparent widget here, and I've also got two right here. One, I could, why is not letting me use it? Okay, yeah, one, one right here, and I've got one right here. And this one I've actually put in stack mode, so I can swipe up and I can see my calendar, and then underneath here I can see the current weather. But this is really, really sick because it allows you to have a lot more spaces on your home screen. Now, if you wanna achieve the same transparent look, but have a widget on top, like the time or the calendar, like I've got above, you basically have to download a second app. This app is called Widgie and it looks like this. Now it might look a little bit different on the app store. You can actually change the look of the app, but you download Widgie and as soon as you go into Widgie, you do the same thing. You first go into explore, you pick any of the widgets uh, that you like. So for example, let's say you like this one right here. You click import widget. Once you've imported it, you go into manage and you have a bunch of slots. Now I'm using a medium one. So you click tap to customize and you can add any of your imported ones. You can add this one. You click OK. You want it to be at the top of the screen. I personally don't like this one, so I can scroll down and I can use this one right here. Click OK because that's why I want, the, want it to be on the home screen. After that, you do the exact same thing you did before. You click set transparency delete this one you click add wallpaper and you select your latest screenshot once you've done that click the tick you go to your home screen and you can see that has also become transparent so this is so cool i love this transparency feature it actually lets me see my wallpaper and i would highly recommend creating a stack because it doesn't mean that you're wasting any space like i said you can see your um uh, calendar and then you can even see the weather and then you can go back to transparency mode so this is brilliant on top of that if you have any transparent widgets like i do here you can hold them down take it to the left and change the position after you've changed the position because you've already imported the screenshot of the wallpaper you can hold down this widget click edit and just change the position that you've moved it to so bottom left you can see that it automatically mirrors the wallpaper. So this is excellent. It's a brilliant way of making your phone look so cool. And I really, really recommend you guys do this. So if you enjoyed the video and you like the apps that I showed you, feel free to download them. And if you want to, you know, download these wallpapers, definitely check out One for Wall and Backdrops, two best apps that I've used so far. So make sure to like this video. Stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading even more videos that I've been working on. And if you want to see a review and the three biggest reasons as to why I think this iPhone 15 Pro max is the most significant upgrade yet make sure to click this video right here subscribe and i'll see you guys in that video